All right, I'm going to show you a little bit more magic. So if I ask you what the saddest thing in the world is, a lot of people would say uh, car crashes. A lot of people would say things like sickness and world hunger and all that. Um, but I'm, I'm here to tell you that there's actually something sadder than all of those things combined, and, uh, and it's magic conventions. Now, why are these so sad, you might ask? Well, I just want to say that uh, magic conventions are incredibly sad because there's a group of fully grown men. They're just standing around doing absolutely nothing except for talk about magic for three days, four days, maybe even a week on end. And it's, it's just horrible to watch. But, uh, but anyway, I was at one of these conferences and uh, I was observing a table with three magicians performing a trick and they were arguing about the trick a little bit. And they said, uh, it was called the Fabulous Four Aces, and they were arguing as to why uh, the, it had the appeal that it did for all the different people. So it does. Just threw a magazine on the floor, sorry about that. So they took a deck, shuffled it up anyways, stuck it down on the table. Now the first magician, he grabs the deck and he says, okay, the trick to the Fabulous Four Aces is the element of surprise. And nobody else knew what he meant by that. So anyways, he went, just watch. He spread out the deck, and there's one upside-down card. And, uh, and everybody was surprised, but they were laughing at him because they said, you know what, you messed this up. And he said, no, in fact, um, that, that, that was supposed to happen. This, uh, this seven is really an indicator card. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's your ace of clubs. That's what the trick to fabulous four aces is. Everybody went, no, 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 that's not right. Second magician said, okay, this is the trick to the fabulous four aces. Take the deck, it's speed. Take the deck, make your move, fan out the cards, and there's your ace. Now it's pretty impressive, but, you know, third magician, he didn't, didn't really buy that. And he said, you know what, there's, there's, there's more to this trick. It's the element of counting. Now he says there's two cards left, two aces, we're going to burn them both. Now here we go, A, C, E for ace, O, F for of, D, I, A, M, O, N, D, S. There's your ace of diamonds. Set the deck down, he says that's the trick to the fabulous four aces. And they were all kind of arguing over which, which of their methods of finding an ace was better when they saw me standing there. And they said, hey, why don't you come and find the ace of spades for us? And I said, no, 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 I can't, I can't do that. I don't know what you guys have been doing. You're amazing. I'm not nearly this good. They said, no, come on, sit down, try it. Figured, okay, what's the loss? So I picked up the cards, started fanning them out. There's, there's nothing right side up in there. So I don't know what to do. Take them, I go, uh, well, let's try the counting thing. A, C, E, O, F, S, P, A, D, E, S. That's not the ace of spades. I don't know what to do. I'm just guessing at this point. Hey, you know what? Actually, that's a good idea. Why don't we play a guessing game? I'm going to divide the cards out into two piles. And since I have a really magical uh, eye, I can actually see through the cards into the Ace of Spades. And they didn't believe me, and I said, okay, we'll try it. See if you're as good at this as I am. Okay, where's the Ace of Spades? Which pile is it in? Well, you haven't been doing this as long as I have. It's actually in this pile. Go ahead and set that one down. Start dividing these up again. All right, I'm going to give you another guess at it. Where's the Ace of Spades? Wrong again, it's actually in this one. But, you know, you're getting better at this, maybe, hopefully. Try it one more time. Where's the Ace of Spades? You're, uh, you're actually right about that one this time. One more division. Where's the Ace? Not right about that. All right, which card do you think it is? Pick one, either one. You got a 50-50 shot and you got it wrong. I'm sorry, it's actually this card. All right, so they figured that was pretty cool and I said, you know what, no, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm a better poker player than I am magician and any poker player in the world will tell you that a royal flush beats four aces any day of the week. And they all quickly agreed that that was actually the trick to the fabulous four aces.